Hey, it's Mustang Stampede. I'm in the garage with the John Deere 3033R, and I'm working on installing a light bar for my ROPS. I use my grapple a lot, and when the grapple's on, or your bucket is on, at night it's extremely hard to see with the headlights because the bucket's typically in the way of the headlights. So, I asked the John Deere 3 Series group on Facebook uh, as I started seeing a bunch of people posting about where are they connecting their light at. And I'm trying to hold this light here. I might have to set it out of the way, sorry. Let's just see if I can, okay? So a lot of people said, oh, it's tucked up into your ROPS, right? And I think the hole was back here for that. I had this zip tie right here, okay, from the factory. You can see right here, it was connected right there, okay? It had this bundle of wires. And I found that in this bundle of wires, this black and purple did not have um, nothing but plugs in them. So I've seen another guy say he had one of these, uh, like, battery quick connect wires, uh, or he had bought one like that, and that it would work. So I plugged, I actually had, like, a Stanley... Uh, a very cheap Stanley battery charger that was like nine bucks or something that didn't work. So I went ahead and plugged that into those connect that those two connections, one female, one male, and it worked. So I've now went ahead and attached two leads to this uh, to this piece here from the black and purple, and I have I have my other leads right here. Okay. Now, I do want to be able to disconnect that pretty quickly because these LED light bars, uh, some are cheap, some are expensive. Um, some of them that are super expensive, you could literally buy the cheap one 10 times before you covered the cost of buying the super expensive one. I've had numerous LED light bars on my boats and none seem to typically perform or last any longer than any other kind. Um, they do suggest sometimes using a little bit of silicone to seal it, but my tractor is stored indoors. Uh, so that's not too big of a deal for me, and I don't typically work when it's raining. I do work when it's snowing sometimes, but that's not the same. So I did do a little bit of securing right there, and I kind of made just a little bit of a drip loop so none of the water runs down into the cable there. I drilled two holes uh, with a drill bit, and then I had two self-tapping um, screws that basically I use the impact to drive in and create their own threads and I have I have several spares of those uh, so I'll be able to have a spare if something happens so I'm going to go ahead and finish my connection and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the headlights going down a dark road and then what it looks like with this light bar I'll get it adjusted etc and then show you that okay this light bar does come with a disc a quick connect right there so i'm going to leave that intact okay uh, on the tractor itself i will be installing one small one other smaller cube light to face the rear and i found that again right there i got two leads let me see if i can't grab them for you i have two leads right here on this wire limb and again they're like oh it's tucked into the ROPS it wasn't mine we're not tucked into the ROPS okay but they're right here black and purple all right there's a few other weird connections that I'm not 100% sure what they're for um, there's one right there as well it has some kind of quick connect type deal I'm not sure what it's for not too concerned but anyway the light bar is going to work in this position right here so headlights plus auxiliary lights. So I don't have to make any modifications. As you can see, I was originally attending, intending to bring this all the way from the battery to the back of the tractor. And now I can just remove all of that. So that's, that's great. So let me uh, finish up and uh, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, hey, it's Mustang Stampede. Another basically follow on for the light bar. I'm 
on a part of our haul road, gravel road, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just showing you what it looks like to me with my head headlights on. Uh, basically because your front loader is always kind of in the way of your headlights. So if I bring that up, you know, which isn't desirable, you can see there's actually some road out there, right? Okay. So bring it down. You can never real like even right there. I'm typically in danger of hitting hitting stuff in the road, right? Um, or catching a limb or whatever. So it's not ideal. So I got a light bar. I'll put a link in the description. Tied it into the light connection at the bottom of the rocks. There's one for each side. And this is what we ended up with for auxiliary light. Massive difference. Now it don't matter if my grapple is up a little bit or not, blocking the headlights because I have plenty of light out in front of me now. Again, from this to this. Thanks for watching. Look in the description for a link for the light bar. To purchase the light bar, you'll need the wiring harness kit or you'll need to provide your own wiring to tie in to the bottom of your rocks.